Hey guys, if there's anything we coffee drinkers know, it's that we are a diverse bunch. We may all like the same beverage, but we don't drink it the same way, and we definitely don't enjoy it the same way. So I naturally thought, why not make a list? So today I'm gonna cover the nine different types of coffee drinkers that you might find in a cafe. The first type of coffee drinker is the casual drinker. This person is not convinced that they need caffeine to survive, but they drink coffee quite a bit. They might have a cup before work or school every day, but if they forget it, it's okay, they can survive. The second type of coffee drinker is the obsessive caffeine addict. This person will get headaches if they don't have coffee every single day. There's probably a certain amount of cups that they're used to having every day, and if they don't have that amount, then there are serious consequences. They could fall asleep doing basically anything. Without coffee, this person probably won't make it through the day. The next type is the hipster Starbucks lover. This person is less concerned about coffee per se, and more about the fancy drinks and the environment. And not just any coffee shop either, it's gotta be a Starbucks. There could be 20 cafes closer to them than a Starbucks, but they will still drive or walk all the way out there to that Starbucks because they're convinced there's no better coffee. Often this person will also order a drink with a very, very long name. Could I get a grande iced white chocolate mocha with non-fat milk, no whip, and two extra shots? The next type is quite different, so don't mix these two up. It's the really hipster Starbucks hater. The idea of Starbucks is very repugnant to this person. For this person, really any other coffee shop will do, especially ones that are very small and ones that nobody else knows about. They might still order drinks with very long names, but they will do it with the confidence that their drink is unique. The fifth type of coffee drinker is the businessman or the businesswoman at the coffee shop. And I say at the coffee shop because you will only find these people in public coffee shops. Do they just not have time to make coffee at home? These people are always dressed super snazzy. Looks like they've spent maybe two hours getting ready in the morning, at least. I guess that's why they didn't have time to make their coffee. And they are always in a rush. Whatever type of drink they ordered, however many people are there, the barista is just never, ever fast enough. You also want to be a little careful with these people because if you get in their way, there might be some coffee spilled. The next type of coffee drinker is the person who can't tell the difference between bad coffee and good coffee. This person may have been drinking coffee their whole life, but for some reason they still can't seem to tell the difference between good coffee and gas station coffee. On the bright side with these people, they can get coffee from just about anywhere and be perfectly satisfied. It comes from a machine? Brilliant! I mean like, why pay more for the exact same thing? The next type is the decaf drinker. This person always refuses to drink any type of coffee that actually has caffeine in it. For whatever reason, they will only drink decaf. They might drink several cups a day, and they might even drink it all the way up until they go to bed. But there is not a drop of caffeine in that coffee, for better or for worse. What? Oh yeah, I know what time it is. It's decaf. The next type of coffee drinker is the person who doesn't even feel the caffeine anymore. It doesn't matter how many cups of full caffeine coffee this person has a day, it will not do a thing to them. Even if they chug a whole pot right after dinner, they're still gonna fall fast asleep when it's bedtime. However they've accomplished it, it's like they've built up an immunity to caffeine. And the last type of coffee drinker on this list is the not a morning person person. This coffee drinker is basically not a human being until they've had their coffee in the morning. It might even just be a struggle to make the coffee. You do not want to talk to the not a morning person person until they've had their coffee. And if you love them or if you care about them in any way, shape, or form, you'll make it for them before they even wake up. Maybe I should say if you love yourself, you should make them their coffee before they wake up. For your sake. The first thing this person thinks of when they wake up is coffee. And really, how can you blame them? Honestly. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this list that I put together. I think I've probably spent enough time in cafes to know what I'm talking about. But if I missed one, let me know. And if you're the type of person who likes coffee as much as I do, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I talk about coffee a lot. And next time you go to a coffee shop, I challenge you, how many of these can you find? Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video soon. That's unfortunately a little bit too much like me. <laughs>